Howdy doodly do, hello everybody, welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming, I'm the Ginger Ninja 251, also known as Malo, and welcome to Malo's Mobile Monday, today we're going to be looking at Dungeon Boss. Yep, Dungeon Boss is what we're going to be looking at. Um, it's an okay game, it needed downloads yet again from the internet that, that didn't use Google Play, that annoyed me, as clearly. Um, yeah, that was kind of the reason why I got bored of it. It needed the internet, like every other game apart from Public Transport Simulator. That was the only game I've played which didn't need the internet to play, to actually play as a game. Uh, it just annoys me when a game does that. So, yeah. Moving swiftly on to the scores, because I want to get this out of the way before I get onto the good games. Uh, gameplay, three. I actually played it this time because I persisted. <laughs> that was a stupid idea. Graphics, four. Uh, it looked pretty. It was kind of like Clash of Clans kind of thing. Cost, 2.5. I didn't. I couldn't remember if it had microtransactions or not. Storage, 1.5. Because um, it did the downloads again. And I didn't trust it. And then the UI, four. Because it was nice, big. It wasn't in your face, but it was big enough for a mobile game. Yep. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure if it was a short video, but I want to get onto the good stuff because now I'm over with the crap video games. We can get onto the good mobile games. I know that's kind of blasphemy, blasphemy from a PC gamer, but there are some. 